Good morning guys and here is Captain Christian with another video on the Cessna 337 Skymaster in the virtual world and this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice uh, an engine failure scenario right after takeoff that's one of the worst possible times to have a to have an engine failure in a twin but uh, or in an airplane actually but uh, that's one of the advantages of this twin that it doesn't have a symmetry that uh, other twins have which is inherently dangerous if not you know if not corrected appropriately so anyway this is a very interesting exercise and uh, that's what i'm uh, gonna try and uh, film it to save it to you and again this is not instruction is not a classroom is not uh, for real life it's just me having a good time practicing uh, these kind of scenarios in the simulator. Hope you enjoyed, guys. All right, guys, we are here taxiing to the run-up area for runway 27 at Riverside, California. So we've been cleared by ATC to take off from runway 27. Uh, our clearance was departure from runway 27 via the Riverside 1 obstacle departure procedure climbing to 4,000 feet and expecting 9,000 in 10 minutes so that's the plan I'm gonna set the parking brake here to do the run up and the briefing parking brake is set now so I was saying the Riverside 1 departure procedure which is basically climb heading to 69 until crossing the radial 333 which I've set in radio nav 2 here which is identified and set for Paradise VOR. Then we turn left heading 179, that's basically heading 180, heading south, and uh, maintain that heading until intercepting radial 273, that's course 093, inbound to Paradise VOR, and that's what we have set here in the GPS. And after that, as per the flight plan. So that is the plan. We have a very good weather conditions, clear skies, temperature 16 degrees, QNH is 2994 and wind is 280 at 40 at 4 knots. So briefing, we're gonna take off from runway 27. We have uh, runway 27 is 5,400 feet long. With these conditions, we need uh, 1,800 feet for takeoff and about 2,500 feet for accelerate stop. So we have plenty of runway for this takeoff. Rotation VR is 73 knots. So once we are lined up on the runway, we're gonna increase the power, Ch check that both engines are in the green, all the engine instruments are good, suction good, electrical good. We'll verify that airspeed indicator is working and we'll monitor the engine. If something happens below 73 knots, we will cut the power levers stop on the runway if it's fire or smoke secure the airplane declare emergency evacuate if it's not then we will uh, clear the active runway to the left via one of the exit exits to towards the taxiways and once we are clear of the runway we'll set the parking brake assess the situation and make a decision if uh, nothing happens then set 73 knots rotation and once we have uh, positive climb gear up above 90 knots flaps up prop 2600 synchro phaser on and we continue climbing to 4000 feet on heading 269 initially waiting for our radial 333 to center that's the indication that we need to wait before turning left to heading 180 so that's the idea if we have a problem after rotation then, especially if it's an engine problem, identify, verify, and feather. Identify, we don't have asymmetric thrust con situations in this airplane, so we identify by looking at the RPM indicator. Identify, verify with the power lever, so whichever engine is a problem, we will verify by closing the power lever corresponding, so that we, we, we see that there is no response, there is no change in the condition. And once we've uh, verified that, then feather. That's extremely important, otherwise the airplane may not climb at all. Once we've done that, we 
set the flaps up that's the other way around from the normal procedure normally we go gear up and then flaps up in an engine out situation you go flaps up first and then once we're clear of obstacle gear up and the reason for that is the the gear doors and and the the, the action of uh, retracting the gear is is a lot of drag in this airplane especially a lot of drag i will i will show you once from the exterior view how the gear retracts in this airplane but it's a lot of drag so we don't want that so once we are clear of all obstacles and safely with the airplane clean then we will uh, set the gear to up once the gear is set to up we will secure the engine we will do that by turning off ignition alternator mixture cool flaps and fuel valves and that's the order as per the emergency checklist once we do that we we'll check uh, read the checklist verify that we've done everything we have not forgotten anything on the navigation side we will turn left for a crosswind uh, and left downwind back for a uh, visual approach to runway 27 we will be talking to the tower declaring emergency and uh, that's the idea so that's the briefing now the engine check so make sure it's full reach prop is full forward we will advance the RPMs to 1900.2000 and we do the magnetos checks. I will not do it in this scene because the, the, the way to, to, to move the ignition switches I don't like it at all. It's, it's, not, it's not easy to move. Sometimes it, it will go to off to start. It's, it's a complete disaster. It's, it's really badly done. So we're just going to pretend that we are doing it. So we will move from both to right we'll see a drop of about 100 rpm and that's good back to both rpm recovers then left drop again same drop about 100 rpm back to both and we'll do the same procedure on the front engine so it's the rear engine and the front engine so once we check magnetos in both engines we check the all the engine instruments are in the green suction is good electrical is showing both alternators okay and now we cycle the prop so we'll go okay prop is working on the front engine we'll cycle again good prop is working on the front engine now the rear engine good good so that is working idle check idle is working as well okay so that's our run up now one more step is checklist make sure we've done everything before takeoff checklist seat belts secure briefing complete run up complete doors and windows windows are closed doors are closed synchrophaser off make sure full reach engine instruments are all checked time it's uh, 12.04 and lights are okay we'll, we'll set the lights with the clearance so now we are ready to go we make sure that nobody is coming on the left side nobody's coming on the right side call the tower tell them we are ready to go tower says uh, okay skyhawk 12440 you're clear for takeoff runway 27 wind is 2804 and we reply we're clear for takeoff again we make sure that nobody is coming and we set landing and strobe lights on we are ready guys let's go entering for runway 27 okay for flight is telling us everything is good for runway 27 nobody there nobody there we will use all the runway available line up on runway 27 okay compass showing 27 HSI to 7 track to 7 we're ready to go let's do it 12.05 okay engine instruments are good suction good electrical good airspeed alive 40 knots 50 knots everything is good 60 knots everything is good 70 knots rotate okay i see that we've lost the front engine gonna verify that front engine power lever no changes so identify verify and feather feather front engine 
flaps up and we are clear of obstacles gear up all right gear is coming up that's a lot of drag here okay gear is up and flaps up good engine is secure no engine is not secure now we have to secure the engine but before that let me trim here for v y s e that is blue line which is single engine best rate of climb speed okay there we go I'm gonna turn left here for a crosswind and I'm gonna advise the tower tower Skymaster 12440 Mayday 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 declare an emergency we are turning for a left downwind and requesting back to land the runway 27 so tower says okay clear uh, clear to land runway 27 Roger Skymaster 12440 clear to land 27 okay so we are still climbing here see if we can go up to a normal altitude which will be 1800 and now security engine here we go let me finish the turn first okay there we go now we are in a downwind left downwind for runway 27 so secure the engine ignition front confirm off alternator front alternator confirm off and I see that the right alternator is still working good mixture front mixture confirm cut off okay cold flaps front cold flaps confirm close okay that is closed and front fuel valve off okay 1800 that's pattern altitude so I'm gonna level off here we can see that we are in a left downwind for runway to seven and I'm gonna reduce power on my rear engine and prepare for land okay good so gear down okay gear is done with three greens I'm gonna set flaps one third and probably leave it there until we are we have the the runway made so let's see if we can start our turn I believe we can start our turn now so turning left base for runway 27 approaching a left base for runway 27 here let me see how are we with respect to the runway okay we are coming up nicely there okay so gear gas undercarriage mixture prop flops seat belts okay the seat belts are on and we are ready for our emergency landing here we are clear oops I overshoot overshoot no problem we'll go back here okay I'm slightly low so I'm gonna correct that there we go and now we can set flaps two thirds Okay. 
Okay, so basically we have the runway made now. Runway is made, full flaps. And we are clear to land. Golf. Okay, I'm exiting via Golf. Okay, clear up the runway. Gonna reset everything here. Flaps up. Trim is reset. Landing and strobe lights off. Time is 1212. And now we will call ground for taxi. All right, so but that's basically what I wanted to show you guys, the engine failure scenario.